Welcome to our lecture online and now let's look at some examples for stars and their relative luminosities relative to the Sun and that helps us understand what we mean by luminosity. So we have a set of stars right here on the list starting out with Sirius B. Sirius B is a white dwarf, very small star, has a very high surface temperature but a very small radius corresponding the luminosity relative to the Sun it's 0 0.025 times the luminosity of the Sun or 2.5% the luminosity of the Sun. Here we have Barnard star, it's about six light years away from us. It's an M4-5 uh, star, that means it's a uh, uh, spectral class M type 4 and luminosity class 5, which means it's a main sequence star, but this looks like it's a small red star, surface temperature 3250 Kelvin. The radius is about two tenths the radius of the sun, and therefore luminosity is less than 1%, about a half percent the luminosity of the sun. Now notice these numbers, of course, are estimates based upon uh, measurements that were made. And depending upon where you go for sources, you'll see different numbers for some of these as far as temperature, size, and so forth. So don't take these as being the absolute correct numbers. They're the best numbers that certain uh, scientists came up with as they made certain measurements. But as time goes by and we get better telescopes and better uh, measuring apparatus, we will get better and more accurate numbers for these. Remember, this is not an exact uh, those are not exact numbers. It's very difficult sometimes to come up with some of these. For example, Sirius A and Vega, those are very close in the type of stars that they are. Notice there's an A15 and an A05, so they're both main sequence stars. They're fairly warm on the surface, very hot. They're whitish looking stars. Notice that Vega should be hotter than Sirius, but nevertheless, the number that we got is it looks like Sirius has a hotter surface temperature than Vega. Part of that is because the radii are different. Notice that Sirius is a smaller, more dense star, then Vega is a larger star, and therefore the luminosity is much greater for Vega as it is for Sirius. Even though the surface temperature is greater for Sirius, Vega is a larger star. Now we have Arcturus, which is the largest star in the constellation Taurus. It's a K1.53 star, meaning it's a K-class star, but it's, a, not, it's not a main sequence star, it's a red giant. So therefore they're much bigger in size, surface temperature a little bit lower, 4500 Kelvin, 20 times, 21 times the radius of the sun, correspondingly the luminosity is 160 times the luminosity of the sun. Okay, Regal is that very bright bluish looking star in the constellation Orion, notice the B8 but the 1A star, so it's a very luminous giant star. It's bluish in color, very hot surface temperature, 11,000 Kelvin, 70 times the radius of the sun. Notice the luminosity is 63,000 times the luminosity of the sun. One star putting out as much energy and light as 63,000 sun-like stars. Aldebaran, which is a star uh, that's pretty close to Orion, K53. So here we have, um, again, a red giant. K5 meaning it's a lower surface temperature. I didn't get the radius on that star and the luminosity for that one uh, red giant is 370 times the luminosity of the sun. Deneb is a very bright star. It's an A21A. 1A means it's a very luminous giant. A2 means it has very high surface temperature, about 8500 Kelvin. It is an enormous star in size. It's 203 times the radius of the sun and therefore a luminosity of about 200,000 times the luminosity of the sun. And just to give you an example of how difficult it is sometimes to get good measurements, Betelgeuse is a very difficult star to measure. We're still not quite sure what the distance is to Betelgeuse. We're not quite sure what the size of Betelgeuse is, what the surface temperature is for Betelgeuse. And therefore, you can see that we don't have very accurate measurements for the size since we don't know the distance to the star. And so therefore the luminosity varies anywhere from 36,000 times to 100,000 times the luminosity of the sun, depending upon which numbers you want to pick and what combination of temperature, uh, size, distance, and so forth you want to grab. Again, Betelgeuse is an M1 star, so it's a red, sur it's a red star, not very high surface temperatures, but it's a 1AB star, meaning it's a very luminous supergiant. That's why it's so luminous compared to the luminosity of the sun. All right, so that gives you kind of a feel of how we come up with the luminosity. It's always based upon surface temperature and size combined uh, gives you the luminosity relative to the sun. And that's how we do that.